This one, this one with the best in the world. Mm, it's smooth. Yeah. Got blasted by the neighbor shots. Yeah. Got, got your stress. <laughs> Good morning everyone, so it's 5 a.m. and we are starting our trip to Poland, long shot shooting competition. Very good 700 kilometers from Riga to Warsaw. We have arrived to our hotel finally after 15 hours of driving. We made it. Yes, not the easiest trip, but I think. Okay. Okay. Thousand. 200 kilometers. Yeah, now it's beer time. check and uh, finish the registration and so yeah basically today is the training day here here it is yeah, here okay. it is <laughs> <laughs> did you register yes did it how was it easy just show your gun and the papers and that's it now need to wait my turn it will take some time Yes, I'm waiting for my turn, I'm in squad 6 and uh, now squad 4 is shooting, so it uh, will take some time. Yeah, and the uh, process is following, so everyone shoots like 300 first, then uh, 600 and then 800 and then 1 kilometer who has signed it for it. But we will shoot in Kondali till 800. <laughs> meters. 800 meters, yes, because we have short barrel, cheap ammo. <laughs> And very much effort. And the speed. <laughs> and the speed. Okay, so did my like first training for 300 meters. Uh, at the beginning was not able to see like the impact point so started shoot to the white part of the target and then saw what it flies where I am in so <laughs> then I guess made two or three shots in the center yeah got, got first stress <laughs> actually the target so the first shots I wasn't yeah I wasn't able like to see where they hit so I shot one here then try it here and actually it was quite okay I would say so need to aim how the calculator says you <laughs> let's go
example, I would say like it's first time when I'm in such a competition like this. So much people from different countries. Of course, the biggest part is from Germany and Poland. But yeah, some from Austria, Netherlands. Very nice. shooting 600 meters so uh, put the wind like four meter per second uh, and it was like 0.9 mils to the left but it appears to be based on the target the wind was about seven meters per second and it required 1.2 mils so it's like was 20 centimeters on the right pushed it will be quite interesting to shoot like 800 because the wind is kind of always changing it shows here like two three meters but uh, down range it's definitely more final push 800 meters Got blasted by the neighbor shots. <laughs> All eyes are full of the smoke from his like muzzle device. <laughs> So 800 meters uh, here, and then wind change it one way. Are you happy? Yeah, but kinda. <laughs> we'll see tomorrow. It's day two of the long shot 2022. We are in Poland, so today is competition day. We're gonna shoot for the score 300, 600, and 800 meters. The weather is completely different today. It's sun is shining, wind is really like one meter per second, something like that. So we'll see what kind of results we'll get. But we will 100% will have the mirage over the range. So it will be harder to see the targets. As well, will be interesting, and the sun will be kind of straight to us. So it will we'll try to burn our eyes through the optics. <laughs> yeah. So this is how it looks. We have different positions. We have different divisions. On the right, on the left side, we have the history, weapons without sights, and some military weapons. Here we have the tactical standard, which I am shooting. My position is A11. And then there is the Magnum guys, and the open division, I guess. Yes. So, so my plan is, following, I will not shoot like the first. We will try to see where the other guys are hitting and make the correction based on their like hits and uh, where the dust from the bullets flies.
well, fired my first 300 meters, like 10 shots. Uh, had one in the five. This was the first shot, cold shot. I don't know, most probably this was my mistake. And then, uh, as well, to take more wind because all were hit a bit to the right of the center. Like, like such group, I guess. <laughs> Okay, pure stress, you know. So you can see this is the amount of the people which arrived to the event. So it's 500 plus shooters, quite big, I would say. We don't have such in Latvia <laughs> at all. Everyone looks happy and prepared for today's shooting. Yeah, a lot of different cars, you can see even Dodge Ram in the front. Real man car. <laughs> so this is the amount of the countries which participate in the event. Quite many different flags. Uh, quite many, I would say it's very nice to have like exchange the experience of the shooting. So everyone is friendly, giving advices and so on because we are noobs in this one. So this is so I would say like the first actual competition. So this is the management tower, let's call it so. It has like two flags. Red and white. White means the range is clear. The red one, the range is hot. Yeah, all the guys are sitting here and watching for the safety and all this stuff. <laughs> so here you can see the kitchen, traditional Polish cuisine, sausages, some soup. So you can take some warm drinks, coffee, tea. It's very good to have such because like. People need some food to, to shoot. <laughs> food for shooting. Shooting for. <laughs> Six hundred meters. One, four. <laughs> All went to the left. Too, too much wind. Like super too much. <laughs> This is the place for the sponsors, so the different companies who provide their supplies and the help for the organizers. We have some reloading supplies, scopes, even there's some new coach guns, 
so you can touch it. Uh, for some of them you can buy stuff for some only order, so as well when there is the pause between the shooting, so you can like, spend your time here and the money. <laughs> Yeah, if we are interested in the prices, so I wouldn't say, but they have some discounts here, so it's quite the same as in the local shops, at least if we compare the prices in Latvia. So we haven't found like something really cheap to buy. <laughs> And we are Polish distributor of H&K products, all products. UW Defense, Lapua, Celebello Ammunition. All what we have here is military version. Of course, we have a civil version. It's generally the same, but without uh, automatic fire. And uh, the price is a little different. Mm -hmm. So the, the safety level, the magazine release, uh, trigger, buffer, everything is like in, in the AR bathroom. But there is small changes from barrels, different gas system, more durable, little different trigger system and quality. Guys, if you want to fire this gun full auto, you need to join the army. And then you will be able to fire it properly like a real man. The newest version. It's it's AR416, but the name is G95. It's new rifle for the Bundeswehr. This is G29, 38. Sorry, this is a um, sniper rifle. This rifle win the um, the tender for the US military snipers. So. Actually, in the Marine Corps, in the Navy, in the land forces, uh, they use this rifle. New modern system, of course, uh, 308 caliber, 60 inches barrel. This one, this one with the best in the world. Uh, LRT3 model, 50 caliber, 28 inch barrel. Of course, it's classical uh, bolt action rifle. Mm, it's smooth. Yeah, very smooth. It's anti material rifle. You can take one bullet and you can destroy one helicopter. Bullet, it could be $150. The helicopter is $50 million. Have you ever shot this by yeah. yourself? Yeah. How was it? It was fun. <laughs> it was, yeah, yeah. It was very exciting, but you know, I have more than 100 kilos. For me, the recoil was really strong. Mm. One, two shots per day. It's not in the morning instead of coffee <laughs> yeah. to wake up the neighbors. <laughs> yeah. I will ask Santa to bring me this for Christmas. <laughs> okay. To shoot some material stuff. If you are a good boy, maybe. yes, of course. <laughs> now that's a magazine for a man. Okay, so the final 
shooting 800 meters. Uh, did better than 600. At least got some shots in the black area. Uh, yeah, took the win to 2.5, so was changing the uh, adjustments. I don't know what to say. I'm happy what at least my those first made ammunition fly still 800 meters. <laughs> so we'll try to improve it for the next time so it's a bit faster. I don't know because I fucked up the 600 and then I didn't care about 800. So <laughs> was shooting for my pleasure. <laughs> yeah, but good experience. Well, the competition has ended, so one of our team guys from the Latvia took actually second place. It's Ivar, so congratulations to him. He took it in the open division, so great results. Uh, there was like a lot of different presents for the people, like even for whom who hasn't won. So we had a lottery small. Of course, we haven't won anything because it, this is like we always kind of not lucky in this stuff. Yeah, me personally took somewhere in the below because I fell at the 600 meter shooting. It was only four points, so <laughs> all the competition was ended like for me. But yeah, anyway, good experience, and I think well, next year we will come as well, and maybe we'll go to some other competitions which will be available for us. Good luck, you all, and subscribe and like and comment. Even better, write a comment than like and then press subscribe. Ha, ha, ha.